Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my six week pregnancy update. So if you want to see how I've been doing this week and where baby is up to you, then keep watching. Now I am going to have to apologise for the fact that I've got my windows open because it's really warm today and if I film it with them closed I think I might pass out. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you do hear any cars or wind or noises or anything like that but it can't be helped. Um, I am still in the place at the moment where I cannot believe that I am making these videos. Every time I sit down to make one I just think is this real? Is this really real? But yeah, here we are. So I'm going to start with my symptoms this week and then like general emotions and things like that and then end with the baby and my belly at the end. So at least you know the order. Um, but yeah, symptoms at six weeks pregnant. Well, the one thing that's sort of been on my mind this past week, um, bearing in mind that I'm six weeks today, is that I've just been waiting for the nausea and the sickness to kick in and I think that's because last time around with Daisy I found out quite early as well she's only 14 months old as well so that pregnancy is still very fresh in my mind and it was about two years ago at this point that I you know I just found out I was pregnant at thereabouts and I felt like the queasiness happened so much more quickly with her like I felt like queasy on the way to work a lot especially if we went in the car I would have to eat something on the way or I would just feel not right at all um whereas this time round obviously my circumstances have changed I've no longer got an office job because this is my job how how very lucky is that um but I just don't feel like I'm struggling as much in that area and the thing is with that yes that's good because I have two children already a five-year-old and a 14 month old and you know you don't ever wish for sickness but at the same time I've sort of been a bit anxious because from my experience last time around sickness was a big symptom for me but what I've been thinking about and I think I mentioned this in my last video but I am really really willing to put money on the fact that this could possibly be a little boy baby because um, with my pregnancy with Bill I only found out when I was gone six weeks and that's around this point now um, so I'm wondering if it's a little boy and honestly I, I just have this feeling that it is and you know it by the time you watch this, um, which will probably be in September, then I will be able to find out at the end of September, the beginning of October, what this baby is. So it won't be that long for you to wait to find out, but it's going to be blinking ages for me. Um, but yeah, sickness hasn't really started properly yet. Don't get me wrong, as I'm filming this now, I've got a very funny feeling in my tummy, a bit of a frog in my throat kind of feeling, and I've got a lot of... Um, saliva so if you see me swallowing a lot that's what that is and that's come on quite quickly and um, other times where I feel a little bit like ugh, is when I'm brushing my teeth and I've noticed that I gag when I clean my tongue where I go too far back uh, which is fun and um, and then I've also noticed that my gums are bleeding which is a typical pregnancy symptom for me and um, I seem to get it more with Bill no with Daisy and I seem to be getting it more this time as well which is another thing that is making me think boy baby but you never know do you um other symptoms body aches my body feels very much like I've either done a massive workout with a personal trainer and I know from experience what that feels like or like the beginning of the flu you know when your your joints ache and your muscles are sore and very tender and it started in my bum and my thighs and it's like also in my back now and even my arms are a bit sore I just feel very very sort of achy and uncomfortable and I already just feel like my belly is growing this is my third baby and my second and third baby didn't have that too much of a gap in between the pregnancies so 14 months uh thereabouts and um I feel like my body's just gone oh yeah we did this a little while back we can we can do this again let's just get 
straight into growing a belly. I am very, very bloated, sometimes gassy. I remember reporting with Daisy's pregnancy at this point that I was constipated, where it seems to have gone the other way round this time. I wouldn't say that I have like sickness and diarrhea, that kind of thing, but it's more like just everything seems to like go through me a bit quicker and I sometimes have a bit of a dodgy tummy, but pregnancy is well renowned for messing up your digestive system, so I'm not too worried about that for now. Um, food aversions, I do have, um, chicken absolutely disgusts me at the moment. The thought of eating chicken is vile. I've tried to eat it and I've just like scraped it to the side if it's in like a curry or a meal or something like that. Just, I can't, I can't do it. Um, I've had a bit of a preference more to the red meat side of things and bacon sandwiches has been a really big one. Um, white bread is another one. If I eat wholemeal or brown bread at the moment, it just tastes, the taste of it makes me gag a little bit, which isn't very nice. And then a craving I would say is fruit. Um, I was at my mum's, uh, my mum and dad's at the weekend, they had an Italian party, I've posted a vlog for that, so it's so funny thinking that you'll have watched that ages ago and you probably had no idea that I was pregnant. And um, they did a massive fruit salad at the end with like loads of fruits like berries, cherries, um, mango, pineapple, um, passion fruit and all of that and it was amazing and I actually took the leftover big bowl full home with us and I just demolished it um, never mind the kids and Mark I just couldn't stop eating it and I've since gone out and bought more so pineapple is a big one nectarines I'm really enjoying and melon I always love melon anyway but I've just been really really enjoying fruit and also enjoying lots of water and cold drinks Um coffee I've noticed has started to turn my tummy a little bit in the mornings I'm only allowing myself one cup a day um, which I still feel like I need with two children that are waking up at five o'clock in the morning at the moment um, but it's not really something that I'm enjoying which is a shame because I'm a big coffee drinker day to day when I'm not pregnant and it's a big passion of mine so that would be interesting because I remember with both pregnancies I kind of went off it until about second a good way through the second trimester I would say um, other symptoms are my skin is uh this is really getting me down because i've battled with my skin on and off as, since being a teenager and since losing weight and correcting my diet and stuff before um conceiving this baby um my skin has been brilliant and this light is very forgiving and i'm good at makeup but if i get a little bit closer i don't know if you can see but the the here all under the skin very sore and I've got a lot on my forehead but again I don't know if this light will show it up properly um but it's getting me down it is getting me down I'm struggling with that I'm struggling with my body image in general because if you are a sort of you know long-term follower and, and you know little supporter and friend of mine then you'll know that I went on a massive mission after having Daisy to lose three stone which I did via Slimming World and I was really really proud of that achievement and really really like happy with my body and in a really good place mentally with my body and that kind of thing and already I just feel really like I'm struggling to see my body change and I think it's also that thing as well where nobody knows that I'm pregnant so I can't tell anyone or excuse the fact that I might be looking like a bit spotty or a bit podgy especially all of you because I documented my weight loss so publicly that now some people are like are you still doing it like what's going on and I can't tell you <laughs> because I'm not ready to yet I've not had my scan Speaking of scans, um, we do have our um, private um, early scan on Saturday, so that is in four days time, so I will be six plus four then, and I'm really, really hoping that we get to see a heartbeat. I, I did this, I think, as I've mentioned in past vlogs, just to help me sort of bond with this baby a bit more because it has been a surprise and also because we intend for this to be our last baby this is my last pregnancy and i just want to do a few things that i have never done before and i've never had an early scan i've never seen a tiny tiny bean baby or anything like that so that's something that we've done and we're going half past two on Saturday, so that's going to be really exciting, but also quite nerve-wracking, because up until now, we just relied on pregnancy tests. And speaking of pregnancy tests, I got my um, three-plus weeks on the Clear Blue Digital, 
and that was last week so I think I was like five plus three weeks so that was really really good to see that come up and I've stopped testing like a complete addict now so in terms of baby baby is now about six millimeters long which is about the same size as a grain of rice which is teeny tiny but despite that they now have a two chambered heart and that starts beating around day 21 after conception so that's quite exciting and hopefully we get to see that heartbeat on Saturday because I am just desperate for a little bit of extra comfort in that respect um but yeah that is that is how I'm doing so I'm going to quickly show you my belly and then I will let you go this is it from the side and I definitely feel like I'm already changing shape I really really do um it's ridiculous to be honest so thank you so much for watching I am um, I really hope that if you're pregnant as well and you've stumbled across this you will subscribe and keep me company on this journey and even if you're not like I would love to see you back here again because it's so nice to be able to share this pregnancy with you all and it's going to be my last at the end of the day so I'm trying to make the most of every second um but yeah thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day whatever you're doing and I will see you next time for week seven hopefully fingers crossed everything's okay but yeah thanks for watching bye